Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Parhelion 2 gates. That's right, we're taking the normal gate shell and we're throwing in Parhelion 2. So this is 6 white white for a 5-5 five five legendary artifact vehicle that has flying, first strike, and vigilance, and crew 4. And whenever it attacks, you create 2 four, 4 white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance that are attacking. So basically our goal is to, one of these games, at least one of these games, get this part of Helion 2 in play and crew it and, and attack with it. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do. But yeah, 8 mana is just so much mana. Hey, what's up, Don Robo? That was kind of our, our challenge here is to get uh, Parhelion 2 in play and attack with it. That's our that's like our challenge here for our deck. Um, and that's that was our that's our donation deck challenge basically. It's the Parhelion 2 challenge. So building around Parhelion 2 is, is pretty tough because not only do you need to be able to get it in play, which is really hard at eight mana, but then you need to be able to either crew it or make it a creature some other way. So what we have here is we have the Gates Shell that can acquire a whole lot of mana, mostly due to Circuitous Route. And it plays like some good defense with Gates Ablaze, and it draws a lot of cards with Guild Summit so it can continue to hit land drops. So hopefully with the help of these things, we can get to 8 mana and we can play Parhelion 2. And then not only do we have to be able to do that, but then we need to be able to crew it. So we need big creatures with a crew 4. And this deck has that with Gate Colossus, Gatebreaker Ram, Hydroid Crisis. So we'll have like ways to crew the, the Parhelion too. Um, and then attack with it. <laughs> this deck name should be Goats on Boats. <laughs> uh, get a goat. Get a goat in a boat. <laughs> yeah, so so we're uh you know we're doing something a little different here. We got um we have a challenge. This is like the Par Parhelion 2 challenge. And we'll see if we can ever do that. And we'll try to pick up some wins uh, along the way as well. Um, but that's our deck. That's our challenge. Let's see how many times we get to do it. Let's go over to the Constructed queue where we'll play until we win 5 or lose 2. All right, let's get our Parhelion to count, uh, crew count, or attack, attack count. We're at zero right now. Um, we have both Parhelion twos in our deck or in our hand, so that's awesome. Should probably keep. Seems like a keep. Should we just rename this deck Parhelion 2 Challenge instead of Gates? Yeah. The Par Parhelion 2 Challenge. Yeah, do you think you can change the thumbnail to the Parhelion 2 challenge? Thank you. You the best. Alright, opponent mulligans to four. Do we get to... And we have Growth Spiral on turn two with potentially Circuitous Route on turn three. Alright. Um, I think I've gonna take three to not give them lava runner that lava runner is probably going to deal more than three to me uh, you can have the two lands though all right maybe that lava runner would not have dealt three to me
Hey, what's up, Zerv? We're doing good. We are going to try to get a Colossus inside of a Parhelion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh, not enough mana yet. Not enough mana yet. Good, yeah, gain some life. No! The Gill Gate. No! We're gonna kill our opponent too quickly! This is such a hard challenge. Ugh. All right, we need this other angel. We need Deafening Clarion so we can give the Parhelion lifelink. Why doesn't this thing have lifelink? It should have lifelink. Um, this can gain some life. This can kill some things. Uh... What don't we need? Maybe we don't actually need the Shivan Fires. That's probably enough removal. They don't have very many creatures. Maybe I actually just play Shivan Fire and Lava Coil over Gates of Blaze, though, because it's cheaper. I like that. Ugh, they do need more keywords. They cost eight mana. No, Cinder Vines against... Like, you you did never want Cinder Vines against a deck that just plays a bunch of spells um, like that. Because if they just take some damage from the Cinder Vines, it's not going to help me really win. We're only going to win if we have, like, the other creatures or if we stabilize. Like, it doesn't... Um, we're not going to win. A, like, they're not going to cast 20 spells that the Cindervine kills them, kind of thing. <laughs> the Power Rangers theme? If we get Parhelion in play? Oh, I should play the, this Guild Gate for white mana for that thing. But doesn't really matter. We'll do that next turn. Uh, Rhythm of the Wild wouldn't work with Parhelion. Maybe we need... Uh, was it Samet? Samet that has creatures you control have haste? What? I can't gain life? The more, the messier. That's ridiculous. Why can't I gain life? Yeah, just pay, pay my mana. Yeah, we're trying it without the Rand Temporal Gateway. Yeah, life gain is our whole strategy. Ugh. Oh, they're so cute. Ow. 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 
New torches are needed. If this draws deafening clarion, okay, I was gonna I was gonna say. Down to one. When you draw the angel or a clarion. Right now, we need angel or clarion. Oh, they have no. Oh, they can't. Ugh, Parhelion too. We need your help. Ooh. I didn't even realize I had a plaza in my hand. Well, that's pretty sweet. Ow. Ow. Man, our opponent doesn't like Ugin. Or, sorry, not Ugin. Gosh. Our opponent doesn't like Nicol Bolas. Alright, let's try again. Maybe this will be the time for Parhelion too. Mm. No Parhelion in, in our hand, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, hands getting good. Hands getting good. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> oh no! Ow! More gates. My friend is here to help you. What is this card? Rude. <laughs> well, getting really punished for sideboarding out. Because I was thinking, okay, they're not going to go very wide. They don't. They only play a couple of creatures, probably. But so I sideboarded out, uh, whatever it's called for Shiv and Fire. Uh, Gates of Blaze. We don't. We don't have Gates of Blaze now. And then this happened. Hmm. We need Clarion. No Clarion. 
to Balt getting us. We were we were gonna gain um fourteen life. Yeah, we're gonna gain fourteen life with that angel. All right, we gotta play a slow deck with our Parhelion two challenge. I thought we were going to be just fine there, though, with the turn 5 Angel. Ugh. Yeah, that Tibalt matchup. That was rough. So our deck doesn't even kill. We don't even kill Planeswalkers, like, at all. Uh, Killer Monkey, I don't I don't know the the deck that you're talking about, but if if that deck exists, that could be better. Basically, the only way to get it in cheaper is just through Temporal Gateway. So like that's like the other option, like maybe just play like four, three and temporal gateways. But then it's like what else are your gateways doing? Well, I like our opponent's deck. Mono black zombies. I like it. Yeah, good point. Everybody knows you kill zombies with fire. They had zombies, we have fire. Set them ablaze. See, look, that's just a bunch of zombies there in the picture. Hopefully we kind of stabilize, but we don't really want to attack with the Krasis. That's all right. Um, this is a good good game. This is a lot slower. This is a, a good part Helion 2 kind of game. Even next, not like this turn we're playing the Gilgate, but next turn we have this untap land where we get to play the Parhelion for eight mana next turn. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this being the game. Oh no. That thing attacks for a lot. I don't think I'm going to play like the other... Oh! I... That's a stomping ground? Yeah, it's, it's still just better to do this. Hmm. No Parhelion yet. Ow.
All right, tap you, and you, and you. There it is. Unfortunately, we just have, a, we have like the Ram and the Parhelion and then, oh man, this is a lot of lands. We could use an Angel or a Gates of Blaze. Oh no, the abnormal endurance. Got me. Whatever, our main deck's just fine. Yeah, like we're normal gates besides those two Parhelions, but that was that was not um, ideal. Yeah, we have twenty six lands. How many lands was that out of the twenty six? I mean, there was what eight in play. We had to discard four that last turn, so that means we had. A, uh, so that means we had 11 cards in hand, minus those two. So that means we had 9 in hand, 8 in place. We had 17 out of our 26 lands. It's kind of a lot. This Fountain Renewal may get us, though. Dang, that's a clutch fountain renewal. I told y'all it was going to get us. I told y'all. Y'all thought I was kidding. It's going to get us. This thing's indestructible. Can't deal with it. At least it doesn't have death touch. So that's good. Alright, Storm. Have a good night. Yeah, this is... We're at the spicy part of the night tonight. <laughs> we got the Parhelion 2 challenge versus Phylactery Lich. And Lich is winning. Alright, we're drawing a little better here this game. Uh, no removal. Ah, oh, sorry, excuse me. Ugh, give it death touch? I don't want that thing to have death touch. Taking it. Never blocking. Smart, stay on defense. That's smart. Yeah, Parhelion is flying. We just gotta find the Parhelion. 
So I'm trying to draw, look for this Parhelion. I'm, I'm fine sitting back, not attacking. I'm fine us both just not doing anything while we go look for Parhelion. We, <clears throat> we had all of the gates last game, so we can't have them this game. That's how it works. You have to pick which game you want your gates. Double death touch. What? They be jamming. So Angel's only gaining eight life. All right, no attack. I think we need to set these zombies on fire. Keep one alive <clears throat> to their enduring I renewal card or whatever. Enduring ideal. Enduring. Abnormal endurance. There you go. That's what I was saying. <laughs> New en enchantment idea. Creatures you control have first strike, first strike, and first strike. First strike, double strike, and last strike. I wouldn't be surprised if that's like a thing eventually, like slow strike or something. Like for like zombies, they're, they're like real slow. <laughs> the opponent wasted their win con. Yeah. We definitely know that's their win con. Set him a fire. Have another one? Their last card in hand, save this Death Baron again? Yes, you'd have like last strike would be they do damage after normal damage. And then, yeah, then you can have triple strike for creatures. Get triple strike. You can't triple strike a double strike. game.
Questions, how much design is there for Last Strike? I don't know, probably similar to Double Strike. You just have, like, big creature. A big undercosted creature because it has Last Strike. So, like, if the opponent has, like, two regular creatures, they get to double block it and, and kill it kind of thing. The challenge with this deck is trying to play Parhelion 2 and crew it. We haven't done it yet. That's the challenge. We we get to go first. It's fortunate. My hand's really slow. We haven't even played one yet. Yeah, much, much less crew it. Just casting Parhelion too is the challenge. Where is there? A, I don't have a T over on any of these. I don't see me writing a T in Parhelion. Where's where's the where did I write a T? Crap. How do we get through that barrier? There's so many bones. Dude, I am not going through that barrier. Nope. Nope. Just count me out. Uh, I guess you can sheeplishly grow th go through. Oh, you're saying I was pronouncing it with a T. Oh. No, I was saying Parhelion. But I guess you're maybe hearing Parhelion. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Gotcha. Uh oh. <clears throat> that barrier is now a lot scarier. What was behind that barrier is a big demon. I told y'all we didn't want to go through that barrier. It turned out to be a big, big scary demon. So much catastrophe. Uh, replacement for Graveyard Marshal in the mono black, like in the mono black zombies? Or, yeah, because I'm not playing a mono black aggro, I don't think. Zombies, I guess you could replace it with. There's a new Lazotep common from the, the newest set that's like a 1-2 that whenever it ETBs you amass one. Man, there was also a zombie behind that barrier. Man, that barrier did a lot of work. Super haste. Flash strike. Can deal combat damage during the main phase. <laughs> oh, we're just never going to play a Parhelion. Opponent, just kill all my creatures. Have some sweeper or something. Just kill all these things. Oh, let's keep playing. I'm not going to just, like, not attack. I'm not, you know, like, that's just, you know, that's just really rude to just sit back and not attack, but.
<laughs> We're trying for our Parhelion 2 deck. It's It really is a challenge. <laughs> Your creatures do damage as if it was last turn. The super haste. Where's this Parhelion at? Mm, no Parhelions. They just need to have a murder for the ram. Double block this Gate Colossus. Oh no, they can't double block it because the 2-2 two, two can't block it. It's annoying. <laughs> yeah, somebody says that it does not have an animation. Oh, yeah, and then Gatsby's confirming. Yeah, there's no animation. For Parhelion 2, which is super disappointing. Alright, we're one and oh we're still one and one. Alright, maybe not even a, ca a attack count. Can we ever just cast this thing? So Parhelion two The spotted count. Can it just ever end up in play? Uh, spotted people may not understand that, so maybe just in play. All right, here we go. Super haste is that you can declare it as an attacker while it's in your hand. You have to pay its mana cost next turn. Or you lose the game. So you can be like, hey, I got this super haste card in my hand. It's attacking you this turn. And they're just like, that's a bummer. And then the next turn, you got to play it. Got to play it or you lose the game. Uh, let's... Guild Summit. I can change the title of the stream, Par Parhelion 2 Challenge. They're playing a bunch of Mardu cards over there. I'm gonna kill those Mardu cards. Yes, tap the gate. Thank you. All right, where's this Parhelion to? We need to draw a Circuitous Route. That's the card that I'm really looking for, a Circuitous Route. That'll give us like enough mana to get up to cast in a Parhelion. Time to dig. Dang it.
There it is. Found it. All right, let's get rid of stomping ground. Uh, we'll just get you back. And ram. And... Krasis. We already have infinite cards. All right, getting rid of all our good, good creatures so that we have to play this. <laughs> Phase one has been completed. We have acquired the Parhelion. It's power. Would make two. Ow. Get out of here. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, sure. Just get on it. Get on over here. Uh, discard this breeding pool. So I think we're gonna have to archway angel. I should. I could discard that guilt summit. I think we're gonna have to angel plus gate colossus next turn to make sure we stay alive, and then play Parhelion the following turn. Mm. Maybe we could just play Parhelion. Here we go! Hawkeye came up, helping us out. We did it, Hawkeye. Are we gonna, are we gonna attack with it next turn? We did it. Rude. Put it in play one time. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I, I can't play the route plus the angel. Time to crew. Combat. Oh! Didn't just let us attack. Okay, well at least we kind of saw the animation. Yeah, I shouldn't have played the angel because then they scooped. Oh, I shouldn't have played the angel first. I should have just played the Colossus then attack. We did it, Hawkeye. Parhelion 2 challenge. We did it. It counts, it counts. We attacked. We got to see what the angel tokens look like. Um, let's get these, this, this, that, that. Um, I gotta take out six cards. I guess I'm taking out Krasis. Two guild summits? No, nah, guild summit good. One growth spiral, one guild summit. Maybe we just don't need Growth Spiral. Maybe I can play Krasis instead of Growth Spiral. All right. Good job, Hawkeye. 
<laughs> I was just jumping on my bed. I was so friggin' excited. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not playing gateway. Temp yeah, we're not playing gateway to cheat to cheat it in. We're not. We're not cheating it in at all. We're going the hard way. Full eight mana. <laughs> as Gimli said, it still counts as one. I don't think we really need to shiv and fire that. I don't want to get rid of a ram. Cutest route or ram? Route. Yeah, we did a boot. We got to we got to play our Parhelion game one here. And we attacked with it. Hawkeye's all excited, as you can tell. It was on top of my library? Oh, I missed that. If I wouldn't have cast route, we were going to be drawing it. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to look for it. Gotta get some more lands out. Gotta find it. Hey, subhuman! Getting that gifted sub from Santa DJ Polyby. Thanks, Santa Polly. Sixteenth sub of the day. Midnight Reaper. Hmm. Whoops. Wrong one. Yeah. I don't really have anything to do. <laughs> well, get get those emotes out, subhuman. All right. I don't want to kill the opponent, though. But I guess, I guess we're supposed to.
All right, we're at 52. Got a B52. All right, what can, we, what can our opponent do? Pontiff, Pontiff, I like it, good start. Footlight Fiend, that'll do. Another Fiend. All right, good game, but let me let me park Helion too. No. All right, well, our deck is two and one. We got our Parhelion count at one. Yeah, they're definitely too scared of the Parhelion. <laughs> All right, okay. Let's see what we got. Hmm. What do you think? Keep or not keep? Keep? Okay. I don't know. He's burned a lot, so. Oh, you missed it, Ivan? You missed the one part Helion in play so far? This looks like a deck that wants to destroy my Parhelions, and I don't like it. Drop two lands and play two Grazers? Definitely don't want to drop lands for Grazer. Grazer doesn't add lands... Like to your deck or anything. I could see playing Grazer over Grow Spiral. Cheaper play some defense. But you you never take out lands for Grazer. You need a yeah, you need a lot of lands for Grazer. Because if just it does not replace lands ever. 26 is not too many lands with this deck. <laughs> 26 is the minimum for this deck. I've certainly seen this deck with, with 27 a good amount of the time. Hey, Alright, so we'll have Ram plus Colossus here. Hope one of these gets to kill the Teferi, but since they used the Kaya's Wrath on just one creature last time, that's generally saying that they probably have another Kaya's Wrath. Really, basically just, we need Guild Summit. Guild Summit's like the most important thing. That's the card we need. Gate Colossus does not help us out too much here. We need Guild Summit. Keep up the pace. <sighs> Drawing two Gates of Blaze there, you know, two of our four dead cards in the matchup already. That's not good. I guess we have five dead cards. We have a Clarion in the main. So the Teferi is about to ultimate. Yeah, 
Ugh. Three gates ablaze. So gross. Um. Right. There. Thought I had some more things. Okay. I don't need these archway angels. Do I want to play you? Or do I want to play you? I think I want to play you. All right, Hawkeye, got to get this part Parhelion going. We need guild summits in play so we can draw lots of cards, so we can hit land drops, and so that we can find Parhelion. Opponent's taking so long to sideboard against us. They're so worried. We still did it the one time, Hawkeye. <laughs> Boar God to bring out Galta. That is insanity. Yeah, you can't beat that. No, we can survive that. So basically, I, I kind of feel like our opponent's going to Thought Erasure here. You know, like they always have Thought Erasure. Oh, not Thought Erasure. Still something that is willing to risk us not even having any turn three play to negate that to try to protect Summit. Yeah, it was Thought Erasure. It's unfortunate. I guess if I would have just played my tap land, they would have gone as Kanta, then I would have been able to play Summit. Of course, they could just have Mortify, though. It's not like Summit's safe when it's on the battlefield. They even have a little Teferi as like a way to bounce the summit. Wow. We're kind of doing it. No, do not kill my guild summit. I think they have... Oh no, they can't even have Absorb. Ugh, but how they waited on Mortify kind of signals a counterspell. Draw. Draw. All right, we're going to do it. Next turn. Parhelion 2.
Here we go. Parhelion 2. Ooh. On the battlefield, in play. Count it. Twice. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Wow. Here goes nothing. What a jerk. <laughs> Alright, let's get the spy glass in play. I have another little Teferi, two big Teferis, and a Liliana. I think I name little Teferi, and then they play big Teferi, and I steal big Teferi. No, I probably name big Teferi. But then they play little Teferi and bounce it. I'm gonna go big to fairy. Try more cards. More cards. Perfect. We got other spyglass, so we can shut down both the fairies. Mwahaha. <laughs> this might be a bad idea. And then with both the fairies gone. They'll never get rid of my Parhelion. Can't draw any more cards. They better not have a cleansing Nova. How they shocked in there, I was a little worried of a counter spell, which is why I led with the circuitous route, because I thought they would maybe counter that. Here we go. They do know about the mass manipulation, of course. They discarded these two Teferis. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do ten.
Here we go. We're doing it. Fairy Time Raveler. They just have Cast Down available. Crew it up. I'm gonna make sure they didn't have like a Mortify that they were gonna kill my Parhelion with here. We could have, like, one of them attack the Teferi. Um, but, nah. We got the Spyglass on it. Sweet. Hadn't seen those angels yet. Really did it. It's a different looking angel token. It looks pretty sweet. I haven't seen one of those yet. My vehicle that's not a creature is still over here floating. All right, so we were going to get both of our gate colossuses back, put them back on top of our library, play them again, attack with our Parhelion. Dude, our Parhelion won us that game. Yeah, they needed to shock and keep contempt up. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Esper beaten by a house in their gates. Even if we don't get game three, which, you know, it's kind of doubtful that we get game three, but even if we don't, that was good enough. We actually killed somebody strictly because of Parhelion. No other damage dealt. Only Parhelion 2 attacks, and our opponent couldn't handle it. They had removal for our other stuff, couldn't handle the Parhelion. That's perfect. That was the exact game. Our Parhelion 2 count is 2. Had it in, in play twice. And attack with it twice. Both times we've had it in play, we've attacked with it. Who <sighs> Parhelion with chance for glory? You just get to attack again, just kill her. Just always kills the opponent. <laughs> Parheli or Parhelion, a better win condition than Teferi. Confirmed. <laughs> oh, it got bounced. Oh. So that wait, does that count as a third time then? Since it got bounced and we replayed it? Does that update the counter to three? It counts? Okay. Yeah, it's the judge. The judge says it counts. Up that count.
All right, this is where we top tech guild summit right after the two thought erasures. Never didn't have it. Sometimes you just play a whole lot of magic and you just know what's going to happen. You just know it's Guild Summit there. Now is the Do You Have Mortify part of the game. They do. So we continue on. But no lands. We could use another guild summit. That's awesome, man. Glad that the deck's playing a lot better now after making some changes. That's awesome. Good. Glad to help. All right, here's our turn. Ram. We would have had the eight mana for the Parhelion there. Yep, Parhelion would have been better when it died to the minus. Yeah, I agree, Hannibal. Ta Towns Van Zant. Smelly, but effective. Yeah, Towns Van Zant's awesome. This isn't a fight you can win. One of my best friends uh, named his baby girl Towns after Towns Van Zant. VT Log, getting that Twitch Prime sub back in here. Welcome back. Thank you so much for bringing that hype to the channel. Fifteen falls. So number seventeen. Oh yeah. Let's try this. I always forget like when I lower the camera because Hawkeye's like around and then I forget. Ah, Gilgate. So we're looking for Krasis. Because Krasis draws a whole lot of cards uncounterably. Rise and shine. No! I am not making nice. this up Nice, VT Log getting that red tie. Um, 
it's likely if we draw mass manipulation that it gets countered. So I'd, I'd rather just draw... Like, their, yeah, their hand's got to be loaded. They're not, they didn't even cast the Chemist's Insight. You really just want to draw Krasis. I am not going to sit. You know Krasis is just I'm a draw five. I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, Mank, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. No time for a break. <laughs> good help is easy to find in war. I've got it. Even though it looks like we're not winning this game, there's weights and absorbs on on that, even though we're not winning this game, we'll still have that game too. We got to play Parhelion 2 twice, and it was the key piece of killing our opponent that couldn't deal with it. They were trying to draw step Thought Erasure, but they didn't tick up to Fairy. But oh well. Yeah, Krasis was our only draw, like, there for a while. Krasis was our, our one thing that would, you know, even if they would counter it, would draw us a bunch of cards. And help us maybe be able to set up like an, another turn, like a mass manipulation with and a gate kind of thing or something like that for another turn. All right, so we went two and two with Parhelion 2 gates. That sounds about right. That's a good, good two and two there. Um, yeah. I feel like if you're playing the gates matchup... Planeswalkers are so, such a problem, and they're such a big part of Esper, that I wonder if you just want Force Spy Glasses, how they don't deal with artifacts too well. Maybe, like, instead of Mass Manipulation, maybe you just want another Spy Glass, and instead of something else, play another Spy Glass. Maybe you just want four Spy Glasses in the sideboard, honestly. Um, but there we go. So our Parhelion 2 challenge, uh, fittingly, we... we played it in two different games that's what it says and we won those games and we won two matches and we lost two matches also bunch of twos for that we have the in play count three because we replayed it one of the times but all right that's the part helion two challenge i hope you had a lot of fun with this video that's that's what we we're just trying to do here we're just having fun with this and uh everybody in chat was having fun uh i definitely enjoyed playing it it's a good time so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you.